Hello everybody, I'm Sloth, and this is The Weeping Doll, a game for PlayStation VR that I got very cheap on PlayStation Network, and that's just fucking creepy. It's a horror game, obviously, from the music you can tell, probably, and it's it's very cheap, it's, it's $10, I think, so I'm not really expecting much, but I do not know what to expect, actually. Uh, I played it a little bit just to get the controls. But I don't, I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't leave the first room, so. Take a look. Hello everybody. Today, Hello. I want to tell you a story that was written by our nation's leading author of children's literature, Ms. Lin Chindai. Lin Chindai. The story is called The Weeping Doll. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who lived in a big house with their parents. The sisters looked very much alike. Except oh. that the younger one had a red birthmark on her face, which often made her parents behave coldly toward her. Wow. The older sister had a big, beautiful room filled with lots of toys. But the younger sister's room was chilly and dark, and the only toy to be seen was a doll with a similar birthmark. Uh. Oh, all right. Let's see. So... I noticed that this game has a huge inventory. This is it's crazy. I have so much space for shit, which is weird for a horror game. Hello. Artong, where are you? Oh, hello, madam. I've just arrived home. Today is the kid's birthday, so I've been food shopping. That's why I got back late. Artong, listen to me. I, d I don't know what to do. I, I I Madam, what's the matter? What happened? Help. Artong, help me. Terrifying in the house. What? It's a, a doll, a weeping doll. Madame, what are you talking about? Wh where's the Lord? Isn't the Lord with you? The Lord, the Lord is already. No, I'm going to be killed too. What shall I do? Help me, a hey, Tong. I'm at. Madame, Madame. Oh no, my cell phone is out of battery. Oh no. Well. You need to charge your phone, lady. The key is under the flower pot. I need to oh. get it first. Oh. Put that down. Yeah. Pick up the key. Alright. Oops. Oops. It says a, uh... To me, a uh, very strange grabbing system, control system, which I'm not a huge, God damn, I'm not a huge fan of, and I hope that most VR games do not control this way, but it seems like a lot of them do. Go to the flower pot to get the key. I got the key. All right. Why is the room such a mess? Has someone been in here? Has someone been in here? I should tidy here? up a little first. Tidy up, all right. The hat. I bet that goes over here. Yep. Oop. That's Yoko crying. Yoko. I should check it out. Another key. So apparently, I guess I'm the the maid or housekeeper of this estate. I guess. It's weird. Why would she lock herself in her room? Yeah. All right. So I guess I got to find the key to this room. Which I'm going to assume is not in here. All right. Can't go upstairs. Hmm. Nine o'clock. Clock's moving. Huh. All right. I'm guessing it's 9 p.m. I don't know if that matters. Probably not. All right. Oh, oh shit! To death. <laughs> What's wrong? That scared know? me to death. Oh. No, I want to see that. There we go. You scared me to death. What's wrong, Jindak? 
That girl is just standing in the living room. I nearly jumped out of my skin. Ayasa, didn't I tell you not to leave your room without permission? I'm... I'm starving. But haven't you just eaten dinner? Tomorrow, I want you to go back into the punishment room. Don't even think about setting foot outside it again. Damn. Must have been years since someone lived in here. Why is the door open? Well, that's not unsettling at all. What was that? Can I use a light switch? Apparently not. There's a phone. Oh, great. Go to the middle of the room. All right. I do gotta say, from the other games I play, these graphics aren't bad for a cheap VR game. Which often made her parents behave coldly toward her. The older sister had a big, mm. beautiful room filled with lots of toys. That is the fucking weird. What's with them weird ass positions? They're creepy the enough. Toy to be seen Oh, great. I don't like kitchens ever since the Resident Evil demo. That's oh, my own feet. Okay. All right. Lord, Ayasa hasn't eaten all day. She's going to get sick if she doesn't eat soon. I see. Why don't you prepare something and I'll take it to her? I'm serious. Ayasa is only six years old. Madame's punishment was too harsh. Maybe you should try to convince her. Oh, you know what a temper Chindak has. But what if every day you prepare a separate meal and I'll take it to the child? Of course I will. Hmm. Um, is that all that's in here? There's nothing in these rooms? What is in here? Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? Okay, call me a fucking idiot or whatever, but I just now realized that I'm in Japan. <laughs> so I guess it's a Japanese game. I have no idea. I have no idea who made this or anything about it. But, you know, so far it's intriguing. Whoa. Okay, now that is fucking creepy. It's probably a bad time to mission that... I don't like dolls. Oh, God. That sound. It seems to be coming from the living room. Oh, fuck. What is that? The hatchet's missing. Mm, that's just fucking great. Hello? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's shut that. The stairs are unblocked. Progress. So we're here first. Let's check all these rooms first. Hmm. 